You don't want to hear you want to hear that story? All right, for stacks and them, I was about to buy stacks to get Max and Melly a whole brownstone in New Jersey. None of them wanted to leave the hood. And I was not about to waste my money. And I was what I offered them. I went shopping for the shit and all that type of shit. Yeah, we remember you know that, I mean? right, Bass? We remember yeah. that. Shout out to Bass. We remember, I remember you know the conversation. I mean? And I'm like, yo, you bugging. You you want to, like, yo, you could go to the hood every day, but you're going to be living in Jersey. Like, you're going to be living better than, your, like, you heard? And you don't have to worry about paying for no rent or nothing like that. I'm just trying to get you niggas out the hood. Melly, too. And Melly ended up getting shot, right? Like, like none of these niggas would listen, and everything that happened, that I, that you know can happen in the hood end up happening and shit like that you know what I mean but everything to try to protect them for what I know could have happened to them I tried you heard from getting all of these cars to getting all these everything everything you can imagine everything private jets Miami hundreds of thousands in one weekend two tall buses Atlanta like cannot front on how I had my boys moving and I'm only talking about this because you was there and you and Stax were best friends were bino couple others and shit like that other than i don't even talk to people about Stax and and what went on but we were sending out this was not on our level when we was moving in no way shape or form and we was bullying and doing what we wanted to do and that's wholeheartedly and when no rappers could tell me nothing i don't give a f who you ask okay who you say was a tough guy at that time it wasn't tough enough and you could go down the line and go ask him so all this be talking about right now, them niggas can eat something, bro. Like, you niggas is puppies to me, bro. Like, I just be sitting back laughing. Like, you niggas would not like me to go backwards at all. You heard? I'm not going to, but you niggas could not fuck with me on no levels when I was outside moving on one accord, especially not Bird Gang. And I mean that from every level. You heard? Like, and everybody knows. It's Bryce Davis on the check in, and we got Jim Jones on Queen's Flip, Flip the Script podcast. And, you know, Queens is able to get Jim Jones to reflect on, you know, working with Max B, uh, Stack Bundles, and even his artist Melly, Mel Matrix, Mel Murder, whatever you want to call him. I feel like Queens Flip is probably the only person that can get Jim to even talk about this area, you know, since he was around. You know, when you get a chance to do your homework, you know, Queens Flip been around Stacks, you know, back in the day. You can see him in old videos. He got vlogs talking about, you know, when he was on the road with him, whatever the case may be. And man, what a time, you know, back when the Bird Gang era, the whole Dipset movement, like it, it was a crazy time. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you wasn't around back then, you, know, you can't even really Google it to understand what was going on. Like, it was definitely something special. Stack Bundles was definitely somebody, you know, that was on his way up. And, you know, Max B definitely had his own thing with the wave. The hooks was crazy. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, this is just a classic, you know, case of not being able to get people in better situations. Like, you see the potential in people, but, you know, they just allow their past to hold them back, you know, whatever the case may be. Not wanting to move up out the hood despite being put in better situations, but still wanting to keep it street and, you know, be around the guys that you grew up with, you know, despite knowing, you know, one day they're going to be envious and try to take your life or, you know, whatnot. Because I, I heard something like, I don't know if it was Chinks or Stacks. I think it was Chinks. They said the killer was at the funeral. So, you know, at the end of the day, like, anybody can put the knife in your back, you know, so-called friend. I actually think that was Chinks, not Stacks, my mistake. But, yeah, you know, anybody can do anything. And, you know, she was one of my favorite artists, Nipsey Hussle, rest in peace, going to his own store in his own neighborhood and got popped. So, you know, it's just the way it is, you know. Salute to Jimmy for trying to do the right thing, get his artists out. But, you know, you can't force people to... You know think like you act like you move like you at the end of the day so let me know in the comments how you feel about the whole situation and of course if you like the video make sure you like and subscribe 